Oh, that glorious moment when you realize that kids these days are not as clever as they used to be. Yup. Did you guys hear about that kid who or these two kids who tried to steal a car but couldn't because it was a manual transmission and they couldn't figure it out? So it is true. Getting a manual transmission in your car, best anti-theft ever. Because nowadays, especially with automotive companies trying to phase it out. Are you sleepy? It doesn't matter if you're sleepy, I'm filming you anyways. But uh, yeah, with automotive companies trying to phase out uh, manual transmission in favor of that CTV or whatever they call it, that CVT or, yeah, CVT, constant variable timing. Uh, with them doing that, it's uh, really hard to find a five speed nowadays. Like they're still available, but they're getting more and more scarce, eh? Like a lot of people are opting for automatic and I'm just waiting for the day when you remember when you used to buy a car it'd be like listing price uh, for like a cheap Cavalier was like twelve thousand dollars and that came with the Cavalier the um, manual transmission 2.2 liter but it was a manual transmission and to get an automatic it was an extra 40 like uh, an extra twenty four hundred to four thousand dollars I'm waiting for the day when it's the other way around you know you go to buy like a cobalt or whatever like a cheap car and it's 11 grand off the off the floor with an automatic transmission but if you want a five-speed it's like fifteen hundred dollars more and if you want the CVT transmission then it's an extra three grand more you know if you want the performance upgrades it costs you because let's face it people uh, a five-speed you get a lot more power out of a five-speed you get a lot more power out of a five-speed than you do out of an automatic unless that automatic is built but um, yeah kind of crazy if you ask me oh it's dark in here but I gotta head off to work I'm thinking about going over to Subway and picking up a sandwich but I'm not really that hungry right now but I know the moment I walk into work and I'll sit down and then my stomach will be like hurgle gurgle gurgle because I get hungry every time I go to the office but uh, I don't know I find that weird about vehicles that uh, they want to phase out a transmission just because it offers a little bit more of a challenge to drive. You know what else is a challenge? Driving your car without your car keys. Fuck, this is like a daily occurrence for me, eh? This is like a daily occurrence. <laughs> Gonna leave the house, walk out to the car and realize, Dick, do I have my keys? And Dick, where did I put my keys? Hey, another daily occurrence. Let's play the game of where the fuck did I put my keys this time around? And Oreo's all mad at me. Cause he knows it's work time. Right, scampers? She doesn't care, she's going to eat some food. She's had a nap, now she needs some gibbles. Um, there we go. That there we go. So I was thinking about ordering one of those devices like Pug has the Sonic. No, not the Sonic. The uh, Vapor Max V. Contemplating on ordering one of those. I've been eyeing them up there and watching Pug one on THC just friggin' hammer on his. I was like, you know what? That might be a good idea. That might be a very good idea. Because honestly, igniting my medicines is probably not the best thing to do since I quit smoking cigarettes. Yup, probably not the best thing to do. Probably should just pack up the lighters completely. Anyway, let's get out of here. Holy shit, what the fuck is this guy really doing? Jesus, comes around the corner, pulls into the side of the road, and pulls out right in front of me, and then does a freaking U-turn. What the frig is really going on? But, um, yeah, about the vaporizer, like, I ended up buying that Sonic I was talking about in a video a long time ago. Uh, it was my brother's friend who had it, and he didn't really like it because he found it a real inconvenience. Cause like you just put like you know a little bit of herb into it and then you turn it on and you, you you hoot on it like you wait for it to heat up like pugs wait for the red to turn green i'll have to show you guys this thing i bought it off for 50 bucks they sell on ebay for about 200 it's called the sonic vaporizer if you want to look it up it looks like a fucking cb radio dude like seriously cb radio it's a box you open the top you put your herb into it you close it you press the button the red light comes on when the light's green just start hooting on her and let me tell you the taste when pug describes the taste no kidding no kidding of the taste people of the taste um, I had a friend come over one night and we, we tried it out and I'm like doesn't it taste like stovetop stuffing and she's like oh my god you're freaking right it tastes just like stovetop stuffing but then you know you, you put some in a pipe and you try it and then it doesn't taste like stuffing so it's like the the vapors are different that's how you can tell the difference between a vaporizer and like the g5 pen the one that i already showed you guys that i used and then forgot to keep on vlogging um that one there burns it it ignites it the coil is physically touching it now there's comments though there's comments on that video people were saying put a glass screen in it and then it would vaporize now my big question like the problem is is like the vapor the vaping pens the actual like the pax 2 and the vapor max v and the sonics and volcanoes and all those other ones out there i don't even know there's there's a whole bunch of them out there that actually vaporize and 
they heat up a chamber that bakes the, 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 the herb and basically releases all the good stuff, leaving all the bad stuff behind. Because the Sonic, just like Pug One's Vapor Max V, when I'm done, like when there's no more vapor coming out of that thing and it tastes bunk, if you dump it, like I always dump it into, I uh, have a, a can that I'm using as like a, like an ashtray type thing, but when you dump it in there, like I dumped it onto a Kleenex to see what it looked like, it looks like tobacco. Literally looks like you just dropped a bunch of tobacco. So, it does work. It does the job, and like Pug said, it gets you a different kind of frazzle, and it does. Because at night, if I need to get to bed early, and last night was not one of those nights, but uh, I, I, I had things, but uh, if I need to get to bed early, what I'll do is I will turn on that thing, put a little, like literally, you put a fucking pinch into it, like it's nothing. Maybe a quarter of a gram of herb into it, and it just does a great job. And the only difference between mine and Pug One's, like mine and the Vapor Max, is Vapor Max V is literally simple as simple can be. It heats to 390, and that is it. You know, you double, you, you you press the button like he does, it turns red, and when it turns green, it's because the oven's at 390, ready to go. Where mine, I can set the, uh, the the temp. But one thing I noticed is on mine, I have a 1,000 milliamp battery, and on Pugs, he's got that big bad 2,600 milliamp battery in his, and his goes a lot longer than mine does. I might be able to get a day, maybe two out of it, like like a, or a night sesh or two, because that's the only time I ever use it is at night. But um, yeah, I uh, I realized pretty damn quick that uh, the battery on it really really fries itself fast. Like it takes a lot of power to run that oven. But I'll have to show you guys that. But yeah, I bought it off my my brother's buddy because he didn't like it. It was too much of an inconvenience to have to like clean it out and then fill it up and let it charge and like or let it warm up, I should say, and then then give her and then you know oh it's not giving me a sufficient hit because he went and was stupid and probably packed it or something I don't know. But and then he just didn't like. He'd rather just you know go to a pipe or use whatever other materials he had for that kind of nonsense and just gave up on the vaporizer and it literally sat and festered. So. And my brother knew that I really, really liked it from the party. So he asked me if I'd want to purchase it. I said, yes, I would. And then I did. And now it is glorious. I use it maybe every second night. I've had it for about two weeks now. <laughs> I was going to make a video on it, but I'm like, oh, I really I really shouldn't be doing that on the air. like, Because then YouTube's really going to get mad at me. But you can use other herbs. Like, you don't have to use marijuana like I watched a video online and this uh, of it when I first got it because it never came with an instruction manual because buddy used it used the instruction manual cut it up and make filters for his joints to be it so I had to go figure out how to like change it because it has two heat settings Celsius or Fahrenheit and I wanted it in Fahrenheit because I know 385 is the vaporizing point of, of herb and I wanted to make sure that I was sitting 385 and I didn't feel like I was running to Google and doing like what's the calculation for for Celsius to Fahrenheit so I can make sure I'm at 385 all the time and, and getting a good freaking good freaking run you know didn't want to deal with that so I said fuck it looked it up and figured out how to change it over and boom shakalaka but uh that's yeah, pretty good I like it there's a bit of a pain in the ass you know it's a lot easier just to roll a joint or or, or, or set up a, a, a pipe but uh I find this thing here doesn't leave me hacking and coughing like the pipe does or a joint does and once I clear the chamber and it's all vaporized I either get one of two things, fucking chair lock, and I can't get out of the chair, or I'm like, okay, I need my bed right now, and I go six times. So it definitely works, best prescription ever. And I was gonna let my papers go stale. I wasn't joining up with Metrum's or, or Tilium or whatever the hell that other company was that keeps getting mentioned on. I wasn't doing that. I was gonna just let my papers default, shut them down and be like, fuck it, I'm done. Done with the legit. If I need if I if I need to use it to freaking go CB times, I'll just I'll just be illegal, you know? But no, no, don't don't have to do that now until they decide what the hell's gonna happen. Because apparently they postponed it till September or something like that. I don't know. All I know is, is uh, after reading and watching reviews of the medicinal shit that you buy, yeah, no thanks. It's 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 no good. So figured frigate. But anyway, I'm at the subway now. But you can't tell. All you see is like a shed. Uh, I'm gonna run inside, grab a subway, and come back out. Uh, we'll talk some more. That's what we do. Alrighty, guys. I got a subway. We got a creaking car. 
Oh, frig yeah. Got myself a bacon, uh, what the fuck is it called? Bacon chicken ranch. Like, I don't know, I go in there, I'm like, bacon chicken and like all this stuff, and they're like, bacon chicken ranch? I'm like, yeah, yeah, love that kind. And I'm still not hungry, but I know the moment I walk into work, I'm gonna be like, fuck, I wish I would've went to Subways and things. Ah well, we went to some ways. So, I really gotta get back to playing some video games, even though I really don't feel like it. <laughs> Can't really play any uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, Adrian's been really busy, they got him working like a madman. And Rex is currently on the East Coast, getting apparently soaked, because it's been pouring rain the whole trip apparently. They've been staying in hotels trying to avoid pneumonia and stuff. I think I mentioned that though. <laughs> oh, that friggin' sucks that it rained the whole time, like... You know, I'm sure they had a couple of days of niceness, but uh, he was really looking forward to this trip and hopefully he enjoyed it. One of these weekends there, Rex and I are gonna have to grab the mowers and go up the path, up the trail there, and see how she do. I don't know why there's a cop with his fucking lights on right at the intersection. I thought that was highly illegal, but I guess when you're a cop, you can break the law, breaking the law, skeeter daddle. Breaking the law, breaking the law, skeeter daddle. I love vaping, vaping every day. Yeah, that's what I don't get. You know, a lot of people on the uh, on the sites I'm on, they say they vape, but they still smoke cigarettes. They just don't smoke as many, but they vape, but they smoke cigarettes. Honestly, I remember when I transitioned from cigarettes to vape and how much it tore the lungs out of me because it's just so fucking in your face. But I guess it's one of those... Um, what the fuck was that? Anyway. Uh, I guess it's one of those, uh, some people can vape and smoke and, well, hell, even watch the video of Nelson uh, taking a hoot off Pug One's fucking dart. He nearly dies because he's just not used to that type of, of thing. And, like, the vapor's gonna go into your lungs and break all the shit off your lungs and stuff. Then you're gonna start hacking up tires for a bit. And that's what it does. So, like, if you're smoking, like, cigarettes, then you go back to the vape, and then back to the cigarettes, back to the vape, you're just gonna start coughing like a motherfucker. So that's not good. That's, that's not good. Oh, freak sakes. It's one problem with air conditioning. Cold as fuck, but man, it makes it sometimes hard to breathe. Right. Park. Yay, we made it to work! So yes, people, there's still a lot more that I gotta do. Um, talking about work around the house and stuff. Problem is, is, I mostly do that on the weekend, but this weekend's gonna be kiboshed because I'm using it for me, not for work. Like I said, I'm going to my buddy's house on Saturday. We're gonna get drunk and uh, have a campfire. Drunk as fuck. Gonna bring you guys, gonna videotape whatever, see what's going on, see what I can make for a video for that day. And just give her. It's gonna be an interesting freaking son of a bitch. Like apparently they're getting a fuckload of fireworks. I was thinking about picking some up, but not from the corner store. Those are all duds. I might go to the Indian Reserve, the native reserve there. Um, the place where I used to buy my smokes over off the highway. They have a massive selection of fireworks, but you don't need to buy kits. You can buy like individuals and they sell these boxes. It's like a, a box that's yay big by like, oh, it's about, it's, a, it's like a, a four inch all around cube with a wick on the top. And when you light the wick, then it starts firing sky flowers into the air. Which, if you've seen the movie Land, or City of the Dead, City of the Dead, Land of the Land of the Dead. If you've seen the movie Land of the Dead, Sky Flowers, just another name for fireworks, distracts the zombies while they get the provisions, and they can fuck off without getting bit. Great stuff. But um, they fire like 20 to 50 friggin' sky flowers in the air, and it's like one after another, like boom, boom, boom. So as the one's already flowered up, the other one's already halfway up in the air, and the third one's already being fired. So it just puts out this amazing show. And they're about 20 bucks a piece. And I was thinking about scooping up like three or four of those, and then tell my buddy. Like, listen, this is gonna be like the finale, maybe, and we can fire off all four same time to have like a super awesome display of explosions happening in the sky, because that would be super awesome. But it's one of those, will I make it to the reserve and buy the fireworks in time scenarios. And that's the other, uh, maybe tomorrow I'll go check it out. But I was thinking about also, fucking dry wick. I was thinking about also going on Friday, and that way there I wouldn't have to store them long, because I don't know if I can just leave them, because I was gonna just leave the house and come to work, right? And then go to the reserve, because I had like, before I even started filming this vlog, people, I had a lot of running around to do today. I should have grabbed the camera, but I forgot it. And as I was leaving the house, like I, I just turned off the main road and went, fuck, I should have brought my camera because I'm doing stuff. But like watching videos when you're actually you know, doing stuff, not just sitting at a computer desk and talking about bullshit. And that's the problem with these vlogs. I'm trying to make them as entertaining and fucking, you know, active and stuff as possible. But some days it's just you can't. And when you got to put one out every day, it's like, fuck, what do you do? But as for the choke control and the weed whacker, chat with my buddy Dylan and he gave me a great idea for a redneck repair so I might not have to replace that car but I might be able to fix it all hillbilly style so I'm gonna try that out and I'm gonna film it for science
science so you guys can watch that and laugh at me for it. And um, what else do I gotta do? I gotta get that fucking riding tractor, the uh, romper out, take it for a quick test tour around the backyard just to make sure she functions still and there's no problems. Uh, the mower deck, I'm thinking about greasing it up, thinking about taking off the top cover and just firing a fucking volley of grease into the nipples and packing the shit out of it and maybe it'll quiet itself up a bit because it's kind of noisy when you're riding and you turn it on you can hear like metal on metal so like there's no lubrication at all so it's just gonna wear out the fucking bearings and kill them uh what else do i need to do oil change on this thing's probably a good idea and uh get the trans am up and running i guess i don't know i don't know i don't really want to pay the insurance on it every month and shit if i lose my job kind of fucking pointless oh well we'll see what we get into but anyway people i'm gonna shut her down here i'm gonna head her inside and get this shift over with so hopefully you enjoyed today's video i know it was kind of bunk but it is what it is and uh if you ever question about those vaporizers for medicinals and herbalizers and all that shit fuck yeah awesome stuff definitely like pug one says nickficknation.com vapormax v i haven't tried it but it looks like it works the same as my sonic and it's a fuck lot cheaper 108 bucks so with the code youtube like i'm not giving them a shout out i'm just telling you guys what i've known that those vapor max v's are awesome pug one loves his and i've been tempted to get one but i kind of don't need to because i have the sonic but if i didn't i'd have the vapor max v fuck sakes is that ever nice but anyway people hopefully you enjoyed it if you did like button questions comments concerns down below they go and until next time people keep on vlogging